Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King was first released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2. Then, almost 10 years later, it was ported to mobile phones and finally to the 3DS in 2015. It should be noted that it held the record for best-selling PS2 game in Japan. It still holds near-perfect scores and is regarded as one of the best Japanese RPGs of all time. But you're here because you want to know which version to emulate on PC. How do they compare and how does the Android version stack up? Let's find out. Dragon Quest is a little clunky on mobile. First of all, you can only run the game in portrait mode. If you played this on PS2, prepare for some disappointment. And unlike the console versions, there's no voice acting either, which detracts a lot from the original charm. There were a few enhancements over the PS2 version, like Instant Alchemy, having dungeon maps immediately available and the ability to save anywhere. It was a mediocre port, but at the time it offered portability, which was perhaps what gamers were yearning for. These days even entry-level phones can run at full speed. And if you want, you can even run the Android version on your PC with emulators. I personally used Bluestacks because it offers great performance and compatibility. Windows 11 can run Android apps directly, so just sideload it if you want. The PS2 version is emulated fairly well. It has solid performance at 1440p resolution and it's very stable. However, it does have a few minor issues. Just look at the game's PCSX2 wiki page to see what I mean. Personally, I noticed these black vertical lines on the right edge of my screen. It's not very intrusive, but it's there. And sometimes there are more of these lines, depending on the scene. I tested this with Vulkan and OpenGL, and they were always present as long as I'm in hardware mode. Software mode gives a flawless experience, but then you're running at native resolution, which is not ideal. So I would advise that you just play the game with these graphical glitches. It's not that bad really. The 3DS version is arguably the definitive way to play Dragon Quest VIII. You get two new playable characters, new scenarios, added endings, more dungeons and all the improvement from the mobile versions. There are a few drawbacks as well, such as no orchestral music, instead the 3DS version uses synthesized tracks. Also, the game was censored on the portable system, probably at Nintendo's request. And lastly, there is a notable graphical downgrade when compared to the PS2 version. On Citra I experienced no slowdowns, crashes or freezes, and I was impressed by how stable the game was on the emulator. The 3DS graphics certainly are very colorful, and the cell shading style fits well with Nintendo's little console. If you want a seamless experience, I would recommend playing Dragon Quest on Citra.